Adventures called Wild Woolly Jumper. Wow, it's a hot day today, Corky. Sure is, Bill. Even the flowers are hot. It's too hot to stay inside. It's too hot everywhere, Bill. Look at the poor bird. He can't even get cool under the leaves of the tree. It's not just the birds who can't get cool. The animals out in the fields are really hot too. Ew. Hey, there's some nice shade for us to go and sit under. Maybe one of our friends might call and invite us for a swim. Bottle Top Bill here. And Corky too. <laughs> it's Mrs Whistlehead, Corky. What does she want? The sheep are too hot. She wants someone to shear their woolly coats off. Does she have anyone in mind, Bill? She certainly does, Corky. She has you and me in mind. Then let's get going. Right. Boy, it's warm. <sighs> Hang on, Corky. It's a bit hot for walking. What are you thinking, Bill? I'm thinking we should drive to the farm in the truck. Great idea, Bill. Then we can have a nice cool breeze in our faces, all the way there. Excellent. Let's go, Corky. Please hurry, Bill. My poor sheep are melting away in this heat. That was quick. When there's a job to be done, Mrs Whistlehead. We don't hang about. And we'll soon have your sheep shorn and ship shape. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Corky. There'll be a jug of my homemade cherry squash when you're done. And a slice of apple pie? With ice cream, Bill. Let's get cracking, Corky. <laughs> Grab a sheep, Corky. I'm ahead of you, Bill. Up the shears. We'll have this wool up in no time. She'll be as cool as a cucumber. Now all her friends will want to get Sean too. <laughs> At least the great wild woolly's not here today. It's too hot for him, Corky. <laughs> They're so much cooler now. <laughs> That's the last sheep Sean, Bill. Teamwork, Corky. Does the trick every time. Now we just have to store all the wool. Well done, Bill and Corky. Come and put your feet up. Don't mind if we do. Let's find a nice shady place to sit down and relax. That sounds a top idea to me. My sheep are so much cooler now. Have as much of this as you like. Thank you, Mrs Whistlehead. That's a fine pile of wool, Corky. It'll make some great winter jumpers. Winter. I wish it was winter now. But when it's winter and it's all cold, you wish it was summer again. You're right, Corky. It's funny how you think like that. Summer or winter, it's still good to have a nap after working. You said it, Corky. And I think we deserve a nap. <laughs> that sounds like the great wild woolly. It does. <laughs> Treat me, Pink. It is the Great Wild Woolly. Be careful, Bill. He might be up to some trick. Don't you try any trick on us, Great Wild Woolly. What's the matter with him, Corky? The poor thing is hot. You know what he needs. He needs his wool shorn too, Bill. Let's get to work. It won't take long. You're so lucky we can help you, Great Wild Woolly. You'll be cool in a trice. There now. How does that feel? <laughs> What's he saying, Corky? I 
think he's thanking us, Bill. Oh, no worries, Great Wild Wooly. We're happy to help. <laughs> he seems almost nice, Bill. I wouldn't trust him, Corky. He's one naughty sheep. What do we do now, Bill? I've got an idea. Great Wild Wooly, why don't you have a nap with us here in the shade? <laughs> But, Bill, should we let the Great Wild Woolly stay here? You know how he plays tricks. What I reckon, Corky, is that if he's here, we can watch him so he can't get up to any tricks. Good thinking, Bill. Don't let him out of your sight, Corky. I won't, Bill. <laughs> it's all right, Great Wild Woolly. You just go to sleep. <laughs> Keep watching, Corky. Watching Bill. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Are you sure the great wild woolly won't be naughty? Yes, Corky. Just go to sleep. <laughs> 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 What's that noise, Corky? Over there, Bill. It's the Great Wild Wooly. <laughs> He's stealing the wool, Corky. After him. There he goes. Right up the hill. <laughs> Don't lose sight of that wool, Corky. I won't, Bill. Watch him. I think he's getting ready to play another trick on us. <laughs> he's coming back. Run, Corky. I'm running. Oh, I don't know! You naughty great wild woolly! We help you, and all you do in return is try and steal Mrs. Whistlehead's wool. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 What's he saying, Corky? I think he's saying it was an accident, Bill. <laughs> he wasn't trying to steal the wool at all. <laughs> Do you believe him, Corky? I believe him, Bill. Well, I suppose we could give him one last chance. <laughs> but we don't want any more tricks, Great Wild Wooly. Bill, Corky, come quick. It's Mrs Whistlehead. And it sounds like trouble. Where is she, Corky? Over there in the sheep shed. What's wrong, Mrs Whistlehead? How can we help? It's my poor sheep. Even with their wool off, they're still hot. <laughs> we need to get them nice and cool. But how, Bill? <laughs> oh, no, Great Wild Wooly. We're not following you. He might have a good idea, Bill. He'd only have a good idea for a trick, Corky. <laughs> now what's he up to? I don't know. Maybe he's going home. <laughs> he's calling the sheep. What's going on? He's taking my sheep. Look, Bill, they're all escaping. I knew it. It was just another trick. We need a cart. Get ready to go, Corky. Hold tight. After those sheep. Which way do you think they'll go? Along the rocky road that runs through the fields. That's a long way. But we'll catch them. They won't get away this time. I can see them, Bill. Well spotted, Corky. Ow! Whoa! Ow! Hang on, Mrs. Whistlehead. Mind the bar. Whoa! Steady on, Corky. We nearly lost Mrs. Whistlehead. Sorry. Where have those pesky sheep gone now? I can still see them. Run hard, Corky. <laughs> now where are they going? Looks like some sort of water hole. And it's surrounded by lots of rocks. They're heading straight inside. After them, Corky. This 
This is hot work, Bill. I'm exhausted. Right, Corky. You deserve a rest. My turn, Corky. Jump in. I'll catch up with those sheep in no time. <laughs> Well, would you believe it, Corky? Not if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, Bill. The Great Wild Woolly wasn't playing a trick at all. He just wanted to cool the sheep down in this lovely rock pool. I'm sorry for not trusting you, Great Wild Woolly. Will you forgive me? <laughs> I think we should make friends. Good idea, Corky. No more tricks. <laughs> I think this calls for a celebration. And I always carry an extra supply of cherry squash. You beauty, Mrs Whistlehead. I think we should enjoy this pool too, Corky. In a nice, easy way that doesn't make us too tired. And I know just the thing. What's this, Bill? Yes, Corky. Is it a raft? Spot on. <coughs> well, Corky, this is the life. And it's so nice not to have the great wild woolly playing tricks on us. Well, I don't know how long the Great Wild Woolly can stop himself from playing tricks, Corky. We'll have to wait and see, Bill. Right now, though, we should enjoy it while we can. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. <laughs>